The National Lymphatic Filariasis Elimination Campaign launch was held at the Yumanayana in Georgetown, where Minister of Health Dr. Frank Anthony said more than 90% of the population is at risk of contracting lymphatic filariasis. Lymphatic filariasis is a vector-borne disease caused by parasitic worms spread by mosquitoes. The health minister explained that the long struggle with the disease dates back as far as the 18th century. The exercise that we are starting today in many ways can be a very historic one. Because if we are successful, and I believe that we are going to be successful, because once we are able to do this, that what have eluded generations of physicians and health workers in this country, that this generation of health workers would be able to accomplish it. And we only have one more lap to go. For this year, the Mass Drug Administration campaign is expected to take two weeks in every region, with the distribution beginning first in regions three and four. The health minister said that the entire exercise should be completed by April. Transportation will also be provided for pill distributors, and this will result in a wider geographical coverage. But even if we prevent a lot of people from getting this infection, there are still people today who would have been affected by filaria and would have been suffering from the disease. And for those persons, we want to ensure that we help them to manage their disease and also to prevent them from getting disability. The triple drug therapy initiative shortens the number of years required to take filarial pills and refers to the use of three antifilarial drugs. When taken, the drugs will kill or permanently sterilize adult intestinal worms and also tackle scabies and hair lice. Before the drugs are administered, persons' measurements are taken and they are given the drugs according to their height. It must be noted that pregnant women, persons who are 90 cm and 15 kg body weight, will not be given the drugs. With the exception of regions 8 and 9, all other regions are endemic for filariasis. Citizens are being urged to take the drugs and render support to pill distributors. If 70% of persons take the pills, then Guyana can eliminate filaria. The launch on Friday was also attended by Chief Medical Officer Dr. Narayan Singh and Member of Parliament for the APNU AFC Coalition, Kemraj Ramjitan. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Pato.